and welcome back. Today I got here my 2022 Honda 250RX and we're gonna go over a few things you must do to your brand new bike no matter what brand it is so stay tuned. So the other day the young guy in the shop he asked me I only had my bike for a couple months and I only got to ride for two three hours before the end of the season. Do I really need to grease my axles bearings and seals yet? From the factory they put a very minimal amount of grease on your bearings seals and axles so you're gonna to want to get in there and re-grease them as soon as possible definitely within the first year of owning the bike. Today I'm going to be pulling out the front to rear axles, the swing arm pivot bolt, the rear suspension linkage, greasing them, and reinstalling them. I'm going to start with the front wheel. First I'm going to have to take off the brake guard, then I'll remove the axle, clean it, grease it, and reinstall it. Now because this is my bike, there was grease on this axle already before, but I've cleaned it off and I'm going to apply a fresh layer. But before I reinstall the axle, I'm going to remove my wheel spacers and put some fresh grease on the inside of the seals on both sides. Now I can grease the axle and reinstall the parts already moved. Next, I'm going to remove the rear wheel. I've never removed my rear wheel, and as you can see, the rear axle is pretty much dry. No grease, and that's why we're here. Next, I'm going to remove the rear linkage. You might want to take a picture of yours before you take it apart, just to make sure you know how to put it back together.
On this bike, the foot peg and kickstand mount were in the way of removing the final bolt, so I had to remove it as well. Next, I'm going to remove the brake hose holders and the chain guard so I can put the swing arm on the bench. Now I just have to remove the swing arm pivot bolt. It is usually a 22 mil socket. Okay, now that I got the swing arm and the linkage on the bench, I'm just gonna take a cloth and some brake clean and try and clean them up as much as possible. So what I'm going to do here is remove the cap, set it aside. I'm going to push the bushing all the way towards one side. I'm then going to stick a little bit of grease on the needle bearing on the inside. I'm also going to put a little bit on the seal. And then I'm going to push my bushing back out so I can go in from the other side here grease the rest of the needle bearing and the seal, and then I'll do the other side as well. Now that I've greased both sides, I'm going to make sure the caps are back in place and then I'm going to take a cloth, wipe away any excess grease that got pushed out and then I'll set it aside and get started on the linkage. Now I can start greasing my linkage, pretty much the same way that I did the swing arm. I'm going to remove the cap first, I'm going to push the bushing back. Grab a little bit of grease, grease the inner bearing and seal. I'm gonna push the bushing back the other way. I'm gonna grease the other half of the bearing and the seal, and then put the cap back in place. To do the main linkage knuckle, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna remove all six caps, grease all the bearings, and then reinstall them.
Try to make sure you don't drop out your bushing, as I just did there. If you do, just make sure the needles of the bearing are still in place, and then slide the bushing back in. Now I just need to wipe it all down and I'm good to reinstall it. If you find this one useful, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that bell and smash that thumbs up. It really goes a long way to helping out the channel. Okay, now that I have it all greased, I can start reinstalling everything. I'm gonna start with the swing arm. I'm going to lift the chain up and then slide the swing arm into place and then once my pivot pin is greased I'm going to reinstall the pin and then I'll install the brake hose and the chain guard. Now that I got the swing arm back on, I can start reinstalling the linkage in the reverse order that I took it off.
once you've reinstalled all the parts you've taken off, go around and double check all your bolts, make sure everything's tight, and then we'll move on to the next step. The last thing I need to do is remove the rear wheel spacers, grease the seals, grease the axles, and reinstall it. Once you have the rear wheel back on, this job is pretty much all done. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button or click up here to check out the next video. This has been How to Grease Your Brand New Bike. Ride safe.